Hello and welcome to uh, White Rose Commander, the EDH YouTube channel. Uh, today we've got three of us at the table. Uh, Matt, what are you going to play? Uh, I'm playing my Kumena Tyrant of Araska uh, Merfolk Tribal Day. Quality uh, control, lots of what I do is there's a port that I'm going to do. Great, <laughs> so we'll just watch Matt play for the rest of the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Hepatra, Vizier of Poisons. Uh, so this is minus one, minus one counters, snakes, death touch, accidental combos. Accidental <laughs> combos. It wasn't built to have combos, but we've discovered through playing that there are some combos in there. Um, so Jack is here in spirit. <laughs> and uh, Nick, what are you playing? So I'm laying a rain in the wall, he's a of my Boros Angel's deck with lots of extra combat stuff there. So I also went out of my way to get the middle of the cards and just carry it across. <laughs> and so with that, let's get into the game. I will draw, I will play a Temple of Malady, scry one, keep that on top, and pass turn. Okay. Uh, draw. I'm going to play uh, Magid, and pass turn. Cool. I'm draw off turn. <laughs> I top deck this, I promise. An island, what then? Oh, sorry. An island? An island? No. Draw. Worst card in the game. Uh, I'll play a forest, pay two for Hepatro, Vizier of Poisons. And uh, Hepatro, when she deals combat damage, put minus one, minus one counter on target creature. When I put one or more minus one, minus one counters on target creature, I create a green snake creature token with death touch. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whenever you place the counters, you get yeah the same number. Not the same number. It's a number of targets. Okay. So if I put two on one creature, I get one. Yeah. If I put two, if I put one on two creatures, I get two. Uh -huh. So yeah, pass the turn. Okay. Play a uh, Blurry Bruin. I will swing Hepatra at Nick. Pay for lapses. Destroy target creature. It's control and investigate. So I get a colorless clue to kill him. Okay. No, you can just keep, keep can down the road. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I want to do anything else? Well, we have three lands already. Um, well, I bought us some time, right? <laughs> All the snakes arrive. I will then. <laughs> I will then uh, pass the turn. Oh, one sec. I will play a magic capacitor. Cool. Turn. Turn. Forest. Okay. Um. Okay. 
two green. In search of greatness. Being your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand with convert mana cost equal to one plus the highest convert mana cost among other permanents you control without paying mana cost if you don't scry one. Um, and then. Uh, Nick, I'll use two. Okay, take two. Oh, you take his two? I see. <laughs> Toughness four. Spell one. Oh, he's that destroyed. Yeah. That's them. And there's no trigger when that attacks me, is there? No. No, no snakes. Obviously. Yeah, there's no, there's no snakes. Uh, <laughs> right, well, I'll just pay four and we'll try try again. Um, pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're playing that sort of thing, I see. <laughs> okay, draw. I'm going to play. Ooh, this is that's acceptable. Uh, play two. I'm going to play three. Burnished Hop. And that's the turn. Cool. On tap. Doing an upkeep. And so, three and three and four. I'm not going to, so it's going to scroll. Played on top, I thought. Okay. Um, I'll play an Isle of Turn. doing now. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I know I'm not. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to pass it. Right, I will draw. Um. You can put minus one, minus one count on my creature. I'm gonna swing it. Minus swing. one that Murfolk King though. Gonna swing at you, Nick. Yeah. Cool. Uh, any responses? To the damage? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, in response to the trigger from that general stack. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything. Cool. Uh, so I've got minus one, minus one counter on that, and I get a snake. Okay. I'm thinking about it. I might have done it. I will then... Um, pay... one... to sack this snake as an additional cost to village rights to draw two cards. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't spell it here. It's got Mages Contest. <laughs> the, the red cat. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I'll play a forest. Tell me how much it costs them. Yeah. One red mana, obviously. Red is that, the cat. That's, that's what I meant to say. Red is yeah. the red, <laughs> red, red cat. Was... Uh, I'll then pay three. For roiling regrowth. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I'm glad how this is going kind of into the game so early. Uh, put them on the battlefield tapped. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I will play. To spells in Boros. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to scroll from that. Put on the bottom. Rough turn. 
<coughs> for an island turn. Oh, then I win. <laughs> As will I, <laughs> with my single green mana floating. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> I won't be putting minus one, minus one on you, and I'm not doing anything to your board state. I'm an elk, because I'm going to sacrifice it. <laughs> what board state? <laughs> Tr try it. Try it, my board state. <laughs> yeah, I would, yeah, I'm not letting that through. <laughs> that was a terrible pitch. <laughs> okay, fine. In that case, I'll do it a different way. <laughs> Uh, I will pay two for <laughs> Trailblazer's you... Boots, uh, mm -hmm. and then pay two to equip Trailblazer's Boots to Hibatra. Mm -hmm. I will then uh, swing at that, because he's got a non-basic land. Yep. Uh, do two damage. <clears throat> yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then I'll put a minus one, minus one counter. On this oh, one. surely you should have tried it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've snake. Uh, I have got two. Okay, a bit of mana screw there, a bit. Uh, you have six mana. Yeah, but I didn't play one this turn. <laughs> I wouldn't call that mana screw. You can fire off your clue if you're desperate. Yeah, I might do that actually. Sack the clue. Uh, to draw a card, I'll then play Forest. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, and I will pass the turn. Okay, on your red step, I'll pay the three and sacrifice the egg. Uh, main to battlefield tapped, I do believe. This has been a very tame game for me to get this far. Yeah, I feel like I keep focusing on you and not him. Mm. I'm aware. I have hit him for two, also. And, and you give him two. Yeah, it's all, all even. Uh, I'm going to play play for two. Uh, I guess it's time to do this. I will play... Six for a radio <clears throat> flying vigilance haste three four each time a radio the war leader attacks for the first time in a turn one attack all the creatures you control after this phase there is an additional combat step. 
and then he also does not fly, they are not boat. They also do not fly, but they are snakes and they are not on a plane. So <clears throat> Oh yeah. Nice. Um <laughs> <laughs> Really? We've seen your Murfolk deck before. We've also seen we've also seen this. I have. <laughs> I've only got one snake. Well, what if they're all directed at you and not me? <laughs> but Alex did not seem appeased. So. I, I'm just I'm just staying snaky neutral. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm... don't leave it to chance. <laughs> That's the coward's way out. Did you learn nothing from episode 15? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember the one. Well, I, I, I have nothing particularly against anyone. No one's ahead, are they? He's just gonna enrage you if I do it. Uh. <laughs> oh, I can attack both of you anyway, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh what, good. What am I talking about? So Matt. We'll <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, Many things. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Good point. I'll, I'll send them. I'll do it. Alex both times. Okay. So what? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll sweep you in the air with the rail of the wall leader. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's sweep render damage. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll go to a Danish combat step and we'll do it again. So I'll take six. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, then I will press the attack. Cool. Right. I'm not sure I like to dodge all that damage. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> so, guys on the four, so five, so I'll um, just go scroll. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave it on top. Flying Merfolk. Uh, with whenever Merfolk Skydiver enters the end of battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on type creature you control. And that's three green, blue, proliferate. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, and when it ends the battlefield, I explore. Wake Thrasher, it's one, one, whatever permanent you control becomes tap, one, tap. Wake Thrasher needs plus one, plus one, turn. So that gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, when did it proliferate, sorry? Uh, yeah, I five. pick three and pay five. Three yeah. green, blue. Um, and then that goes to wherever I need to go to. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to. Tap, no folks, sovereign. Oh no, that's got death touch. Mm -hmm. hmm. Did she have double strike or not? No, no, no. no. It's just, it was just a like, two combat step. <clears throat> okay. Done it. I. Oh, past him. I'm going to do this, and it's going to be funny if you let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> if you do some Phyrexian thinking. If I do some Phyrexian thinking, yeah. right. I'm going to pay uh, two. So we have Murfolk going on. <laughs> For Finn the Fangbearer. So, whenever a creature I control with Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, mm. that player gets two poison counters. Yeah. No? Or are you drawing attention to this? <laughs> I'm gonna go for him and get some poison counters on him. Or are you drawing attention to this so that you can then cast something for more mana next? Is it only a green player? Is it two? Two poison counters. 
whenever a creature with death touch deals damage to a player. Oh, that's two, isn't it? Yeah, so just five snakes. And Think about it. Nick could be corrupted by the end of yeah, his turn. I'm not threatened by that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I told you. <laughs> uh, right, I am going to then go to combat Ooh. and swing Patra at Matt, because she can't be blocked, and the snake at Nick with death touch. I'll, I'll take my death touch. touch. <clears throat> so I'm going to lose that merfolk anyway. It's unblockable. Yeah, well, no, no, but... Two commander damage, Nick. You take uh, you take one damage and get two poison counters on you. Who the idea with it to print thin the fang bearer? Yeah, I know this is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> um, and I get to put a plus one plus one count, uh, minus one minus one counter on something. Oh really? Which means I get another snake. Oh no. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. So, you draw. I didn't need to put plus plus one out on that. Let's be honest. Oh, I did. It explored. Yeah. Yeah, you can put it on. Put it on that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. Creatures and planeswalkers, except the commanders. Um, nah. Uh, right, pay six. A sublime epiphany. Uh, so I counter that. I'm going to return. If you open the way, is it return a card to the hand? to your hand. I'm going to create a token that's a copy of Merfolk Sovereign. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. Uh, that enters the battlefield. I'm going to get on. I don't have a copy. Things are now hanging out. Um, so, yeah, any other stuff? Any responses to that? I don't have any responses to that. Nope. Cool. So, I'll draw a card. <laughs> Draw a card, that's bounced. Get a copy of that. That then explores. So. Oh, it's a counter spell. Ooh, fun. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky. Uh, that disappears. Yeah, that's one of my count. Oh, no, no, that's on the. That stays on the original. The counter yeah. copy gets the. That was one, this one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, counter, return, copy, drop, cool. All fun stuff. Two for a fire down. That's the turn. <laughs> uh, right, untap. Uh, uh, right, so that's a copy of that. One of the minus one minus one count on it, one plus one count on it. Okay, uh, those. Uh, okay, so the highest mana cost is still four, so I don't know. Um, that's going to scry one. I'll draw it. Just keep that safe in my hand. There. Uh, I'll play an island turn. And then I will play... Yes, good. Okay. 
pay. Merfolk Sovereign to make Chimera unblockable. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to pay six to cast Wonderwine Prophets. Four four. Champion of Merfolk. When this comes into play, sacrifice it unless you remove another Merfolk you control from the game. When this leaves play, that card turns into play. So I'm gonna Merf exile. Merfolk Sovereign, I'll do that. Okay. Yep. Um, and it's got, whenever Wonder Wine Profit deals <laughs> coming out to a player, you may sacrifice a Merfolk. If you do, take an extra turn after this one. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so, yeah. And that can make it unblockable. Yeah, so that is a copy of wow. that. Cool. Um, so when it ends the battlefield, I explore. Call that Selkie. Uh, there it is, plus one, plus one counter. I'll set off the ringer. Um, and then, Kumene, I'm going to heave to Alex. Uh, three. 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 Cool. Uh, oh, that's done. Uh, I will end past then. Uh, before the end of your go, I will pay three for Grim Affliction. Uh, put a minus one, minus one count on a target creature, then proliferate. Oh dear. What you... <laughs> uh, I will target Kamina. You know I've got a cat spell in my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, where, where? Are you going to proliferate anything else on my board? I'm not proliferating any of the plus one, plus one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I assume proliferate. I will proliferate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, so minus one, minus one on that. Uh, so I get a snake. Then I proliferate, so that's another minus one, minus mm -hmm. one. Doesn't do it, you don't even need to do that. She gets a snake, and I'll proliferate that as well. And you can proliferate the snakes. What? No, they're tokens. That's populate. Oh, right. Yeah, different thing. Cool, I will untap. Right. Draw. Oh, it's... It's a little bit. <laughs> I'll pay five. What were those? Sorry, not five. My hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pay three. For an evolution sage. Uh, whenever I land in the battlefield under your control, proliferate. Oh, oh, okay. Uh... Snakes, Hepatra is unblockable. So six damage. Uh, these would be eight poison counters. Am I not even a threat to you anymore? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Snakes. 
put these two, I'll take two, four poison counters and two from that, so I'll take four and four. So you take what, sorry? So I'll take two damage from snakes, two damage from Black Patcher, yeah. and take four poison counters. Uh, well, so basically I'm blocking two of the snakes. Two of the snakes will die, those will die, and you'll take four, two of which is commander damage, and you get four poison counters, and I get to put a minus one, minus one counter on something. That will kill her. Yep. Him. Him. And I get a snake. And I will pass the turn. Oh. Keep draw. He's got an extra turn card on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I had to sacrifice another merfolk, do it, I haven't got one. Yet. <laughs> hey, you said you weren't scared of Finn the Fangbearer. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, afra I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, for my, my, my days here are, are numbered until any turn Alex chooses to end envy. <laughs> uh, you could come sack it. I don't think I've got the firepower to pull that off. Unless you don't want to leave me alone until you kill Matt. <laughs> well, I'll see. He makes a convincing argument. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm, I will pay. Two, three, four, five, six for Ready the War Leader. They thinned out, just play your commander again. Yeah, it's the way to do it. Uh, no counter spell in that? No. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go to combat. I'll swing at Matt. Sure. I wish we had face cams. We just wear like <laughs> pros on our heads. I'm doing six, am I? Uh, and I'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I could have swung at Alex. I know. Then, you could have done. Then I'd be dead. <laughs> You'd be. All, you might be dead anyway. You might not be there. Well, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have little investment in this, so I, I, I thought I'll take my chances. Uh, I'll pay two for a talisman of conviction. Pass the turn. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's Scry. The politics don't work in three play games. Like Bond. <laughs> Until you've got an army of death punch snakes. It's <laughs> <laughs> more like a precious dictatorship then, though, no, really. It's not really politics. Ah, same difference. Okay. 
Uh, right. Do you have any non-basic ones? You don't. So there's no point in looking at you. Uh, I'm going to swing oh, these at you, Matt. Okay. So four snakes and Hepatra. Uh, only four snakes and Hepatra. So yes. I, could, I can't block Hepatra. And in theory, if I don't do something, I'm dead. Yes. Right, okay. In well, practice. You will do five and cast eight spells. For each attack of creature, it's earned puts it on the top of bottom and it's in the library. Yeah, I thought something like that might have been happening. Green cap spell. I wish. It's a bad bad snakes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't have a response to that. Eternal, uh, a flip three. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses three life. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a minus one, minus one counter on it. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, remove all minus one, minus one counters from it. So it dies when we cast five spells? Yeah. But if it deals combat damage, you remove all of them? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, and then I will... Pay one, two, three, four for Death Reap Ritual. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, I can draw a card. Cool. I will then pass the turn. Very heavy no creature died <coughs> this turn, so. Well, better than I thought it might do. Yeah. That was the right way to deal with that. I was like expecting you to fully swing. Uh, pass the turn. Okay. Um, tap. Look at draw. Oof. Shit. There's one card in the deck I thought of that you were going to save me. You're not, fine. It's not this card. Got loads of combat steps to go on that. Okay, so I will. We're gonna light this, by the way. So stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate politics. There. <laughs> no, I'm gonna send it all to Alex. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So I'm gonna pay five for World of War. It says after the first post-combat main phase this turn, there is an additional combat step followed by an additional post-combat main phase. We'll tap all creatures that attack this turn. Yes, at that point. That doesn't really matter. Uh, because it doesn't tap anyway, I've only got one creature. Okay, so this is all going Alex. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's fine. So, yeah, after the first post combat main phase, then the war. I guess I could have done that after combat, but it doesn't matter. So I've gone to the first combat. Yeah. Uh, I'll tap the radio. Yep. In the air. I'll take three. And then she will trigger an, an additional combat step. And she will attack you again. Yeah, so I'll be taking. Yeah. Yeah, right, and then we go to the first post combat main phase, and then so this will trigger, and then there's going to be another combat step, followed by another post combat main phase. So we'll go to that combat step. Yep. And I'll attack you again. So another six. No, just the one, because it already only triggers the first time this turn, and when she attacks. So she triggered once to make an extra step. Yeah. This trigger wants to make a combat step. And then in that post combat main phase, I'm going to pay another five, one, two, three, four, five, for um, 
something, something aggression. Uh, on top of all the creatures you control that have attacked this turn after this phase, there is an additional combat step for my additional main phase. Cool. I'm going to attack you again. Yep. That puts me on 18 commander damage. Which is not enough for me to survive. But no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 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 It made me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Freedom! <laughs> mm. No longer. <laughs> uh, scry. Do what the dictator tells us. Oh, to the bottom. I'd attack before trying to board like that. I'm going to save myself. Yeah. And not works out if you can kill me on your next turn. Can I hit you? Please. <laughs> he just wants an extra turn, don't give it to him. Don't give the Merfolk player an extra turn. It's absurd. I mean, I think it's probably fair enough. Or is it? What? Tell me more. <laughs> what do I get? What do I lose? <laughs> He's going to win the game. You lose five life. And I get an extra turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? <laughs> I use it to progress my board state to hopefully do that. Uh, to help yourself. Well, yeah, I can kill Alex on my next turn. I don't yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> I don't have any flyers. I have any I've got no flyers this <laughs> turn. Uh, so, what, so, what's your creature? It's a 4 4. 5 5. five, five. five but five. if it deals combat damage, he gets to. I have to sacrifice a Murphy to do it. Yeah, but he's got mm -hmm. his mana rope. I should have mind. Throw it. Okay. Yeah. It was his choice. Yeah. Well, I, think, I think I was about to say no. But, uh, <laughs> my, my commander is haste. Uh, I'll pay three. I'm going to cast Wake Thrasher. It's a 1 1. Whenever a, per whenever a permanent you control becomes untapped, Wake Thrasher gets plus 1 plus 1 to level 10. Uh, it'll explore. It's a land. Okay. Um, I haven't played a land. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh um, then <coughs> hmm. uh that yeah. That's done. Nice. Okay. Draw. It's a bit messy, isn't it? It's a bit messy, and he's got a lot of money. So, what do we do to start off with his pay two? To equip Trailblazer's boots. To fin the fang bearer. I'll then swing at that with fin the fang bearer. Non basic island or non basic land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, take. One and a add two points. Yep. I will then pay one and 
sacrifice Amit Eternal to try and destroy the target creature. Which will be this. Uh, I'll play three. And flash in Swift One. Uh, three three flash my X battlefield target mode for you can draw against Hexproof so to uh, and it explores. So Okay. Uh, uh no, that doesn't mean I'm stating where it is. But again, but yeah, it's possible to go. Cool. I'll then just to say it's still there. <laughs> the little magic tricks like Pay. Okay. Three to try and cast Lethal Sting. What does that do? Uh, as an additional cost, put minus one, minus one counter on a creature I control. Uh, destroy target creature. And I will pick this. You're desperate to get this thing, get it to kill. Uh, uh, you guys have got Hexproof on turn. Oh, I the turn, I'll pick this thing then. Okay. I will then play a land for two and proliferate mm -hmm. on here and here. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about it. And put on the doors. Then I will go to my end step and a creature died this turn, so I just draw a cut. I'll pass the turn. What's that? Tried to get rid of extra turns. So, I could kill you. You could kill me, yeah. You're going to bank on the fact that I won't. Maybe. <laughs> or you've got a three green counter spell. <laughs> ah, yes, the well known <laughs> three green counter spell. What else is there? There's... If you swing at him and he just he casts, tries to cast a spell to stop you, I will just counter it. Mm. But then you're left alone with Matt. But I then don't have a counter spell. Second place. <laughs> oh, now you play second place. That was the goal all, the whole time. Uh, well, I mean, I can try and go for first, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, well, okay. Still, I only have the ability, uh, this wouldn't have um, unblockable against you. And I only have one death touch creature. For now. For now, but anything else <laughs> that I produce would, wouldn't have haste. Interesting. He has a counts before he showed us it. Yes. The pressure! <laughs> it's not I'm not sure what to feel with it, but. Gamble. <laughs> Roll a dice, that'll. <laughs> Snake Overlord is down. <laughs> <laughs> I was gutted because you bounced my creatures. I was, had the mana to flash in Dictate of Erebos. So if it hadn't been bouncing back to my hand. I'm blue, mate, come on. Oh, 
That's what I was hoping was going to happen at some point. Right, uh, and so when Aurelia uh, attacks the first time, it triggers. Um, so in the next combat step, I will swing it for you. Yeah. Yep. Three. Okay. Then hmm, hmm, hmm. Which way round? That's the counter spell. <laughs> I could have two counter spells. You could have two counter spells. Okay, no, no, no. But if we hope for the hope that there's just one. <laughs> if we just hope there's and one. I, and I'm going to play two spells. Do we do we bluff out the first one with eight one, or do we double bluff and not play the one that I want to play? Or well, you could even triple bluff. Oh, bluff to the point where you don't even know which one you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll at random and turn them out. <laughs> oh, Jesus then Christ. Then he wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play four. For um, uh, I don't even know. Uh, seize the day. Seize the day. Uh, okay. Untap target creature. After this phase, there is an additional combat step followed by additional main phase, and it's got flashback of three. Flashback of three. Yeah, or two in a red. So basically, if I count this, you're gonna do it anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> if I've that right. Yeah. Yeah. Bizarrely, it's cheaper to flash back. So. You got six pounds open. Is that a solid in there, is it? No, no, I thought it was one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do a base of one now. Uh, three mana. Dissolve, counter target spell. Scry one. Swan song. <laughs> or, no, it's that big, it could be that new one. Let me know if you remember the name. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Scrap> quite <up. laughs> Before you enter, I'll tap that island for mana. Um, so untap four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that becomes a ten, ten. Oh, yeah. Uh, scry. Someone is. I'm going to draw it. <coughs> okay, so that's ten, ten. Yeah, you've only got two cards in hand. Three. Got two. Dos. Five, 
Oh, a seat bump music. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then pay for five. That's another chance. He's got to draw the cards. Uh, Four commander. When his commander lets him draw cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if I can proliferate four times, then I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to swing at you with. Five, five. What's yours? Is it? It's a three, four. Yeah. No, a four, five. No, sorry. four, five. Yeah, I'll swing at you with both of these. Ten, ten, and a four, five. Five, five. 5-5. Five, five. Ten, ten, five, five. If the 5-5 five, five hits, you get an extra Oh, turn. shit. Uh, that needs to explore. I haven't drawn anything since. So those two both explore. So, for Sea Bomb use, Mary Commerce. Uh, I'll put it in the graveyard. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the graveyard. But it's plus one to one counter. So it can be enough. Yeah, okay, so if I block that, my commander dies. And then I wouldn't have enough mana on the next turn unless I top deck a land to play which you, can, which you could then counter because he's got, he's untapped all this stuff because he's got a counter kind of spell. Okay. Or I let him have an extra turn anyway. There's your options. Interesting. Block then, go by top deck of land. At which point, I can still win. <laughs> if he doesn't count my land. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'll block the 5 5. You're blocking the 5 5. Yeah. Cool, so you take 10 from that. And a radiant really dies. Cool. He can just kill you. I okay. know. Uh, and then I'll play a forest for turn. Uh, in my main play, my I'll tap it for one green mana. And then I will end my turn. Okay. On tap. On tap. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a 13, 13. Mm -hmm. Probably made a different one after <laughs> Draw. Full text land. I can, see, I, can see, I can see they've got the, the, the white of the plane bouncing, <laughs> bouncing off your eyes. <laughs> I think your time might be. Oh, so <laughs> I was, I was time so, might be limited here, my friend. I'm so close. Um, this could have all been avoided if you'd killed Matt instead of me. Come second to you instead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, actually, I think if you hadn't attacked me at all or done anything. You'd have killed me next turn because Finn would have killed me, done two, and then you'd Yeah. That'd have been three points. And then I'd have been dead on ten, I'd be dead. Yeah. Oh, you mean if I'd left? I'd yeah. Left. If you, you could have just sat there. I felt in dead. I'm glad you did it because I'm, I'm alive. Well, we'll, we'll never I'm know. I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> well, I, I think, I, I guess first I will. It might not all be over. So I'll have to pay eight for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for I'm ready to Oh I get to draw a card. If it casts. Good point. Top three. Method to draw a card. Yeah. 
I can't be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in English. Because it's italics. It's the, uh, the, the description on the, uh, the, the flame text on the on the man. Forget it. It's one from the Forgotten Realm. <laughs> you go to a dungeon. <laughs> it wasn't the land. Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, if I can do eight commander damage to you. One more minute, if I could have done 12. <laughs> Assuming this all works. So... Oh, wait. What the core identity of that copy? Uh, this color. What, uh, what does that word mean? Um... In English, <laughs> shall I Google it? Yeah, yeah, what is that keyword? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much harder to deal with. What, yeah, what, what is that keyword? Um, there are, but there's several different options of similar things. Uh, I mean, that doesn't help me. That's not a keyword in English. <laughs> None of those three words. I, I, I can give you the card. <laughs> the keyword in English. Learn <laughs> 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 Italian, they said. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> it's, it's, it is the obvious keyword. I. Right. I want to. I want to. So what would it? I'm curious. I'm gonna have a look at this later. Once this is over. The card's color identity is not. Really? That I don't think. If a so, if a card. If a card's got a kicker cost in red, the cost of the card in white, would it have the color identity in red? I would assume so. Because you, if you were thinking of it, is yeah. you have it in your deck? Would it? It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a cost. So if you think of. But if you haven't played if, it yet. Oh no, colour identity from point of view commander is different to colour identity in terms of... I don't know what you intend to talking about. I know what he's planning. I don't think it works. So, um, so for example, Kenrith has, is white for his mana cost, but has five colours and he's different yeah. roles. He's, he's a white card. Okay, I think that answers it. Yeah. He's yeah. white. From a commander point of view, he's five colours. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work how you think. How you want it to work? Hoped. <laughs> <laughs> no, from a, if, if it's in the it's in no, it's the mana cost that designs the color identity. The, the, sorry, the, the color of the card. Yeah. If it's got like protection or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it works. YouTube might kill us afterwards, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work how you thought it would. I think you're wildly overestimating how popular this channel is at this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me spamming it. <laughs> no! It's a mighty shame it doesn't. Yeah, that, that would have been a hilarious last minute save, to be honest. Uh... Well, this doesn't happen anyway, so... Uh... Yeah, I will go to combat. I'll attack you in the air. No blockers. Cool. Three damage. It's four. Four damage. Four damage. And she, when she attacks, she triggers, and there's now an additional combat step. I ship the again. You will do it again. So tragic. Yeah, you just needed one more, didn't you? <laughs> if that colour identity oh, yeah. ruling was okay. I mean, it might not be over. We don't, I don't even know. You might have a terrible hand. Full Island. Uh, <laughs> right, and I'm going to pay two for Justice Strike. Target creature deals damage to itself equal to its um, strength. Choose this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that comes back. Yeah, we're going to put one and it has. Can't make a No extra turns. It's not all over. Test. 
uh, for to tap all of that. And I'm going to use the community to tap the Netflix offering. So then, one tap everything. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three. Oh, that explores. Mm -hmm. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's fourteen, fourteen. Drop ten. Oh, scry. Oh, uh, it's five mana in the highest. So it's only five plus one. Okay. Yeah, five mana. So scry. Seven mana. Tashana. It's a new addition. Um, so Tashana is Vice of Thunder's power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in my the number of cards in my hand. I have no maximum hand size, which I've got right anyway. And when it end, when Tashana enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control. So five. Yeah. Uh, but I'll also explore. Uh, so I'll that. I'll put that on the side first. So explore, so close my hand, and then draw five cards. She worked so hard this game. <laughs> <laughs> Tried so hard. How many extra combat stats? <laughs> You just give a double strike. That would make life so much quicker. That, that, there's, it, yeah, I, I didn't draw well this game, to be fair. So it's amazing I've got this far. <laughs> there's, there's plenty of double damage and double strike things in here. There's no area. We've got 14 damage at least coming in at you. <laughs> 15, because it wasn't much He has to kill me this turn. Do. Or be able to cast it already next turn. Or get rid of Vanquish and Just do anything, really. Just <laughs> push you off a little bit, that's it. I'm going to tap to Shana to make Humana unblockable. And then I'm going to swing it over. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, yeah, 14, 15, yeah, I think 15, 15, 2, 2, 3, 5, and a 3, 5. A total, total, total 3. It's unlikely, I feel, that he's got something that's going to boost that damage. So many cards in hand. So many seaborn users. Just the one, actually. That's it. One, one's enough. <laughs> one is enough. <laughs> right, I'll play safe. Take 23. Uh, I'll we'll play 2 and cast. Medallion, hedge, hedge catch it. Or the Murphy, you could draw it for some plus one. <laughs> that's the three, that's just enough. Well, that was... <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, How do you two feel? It was all to play through the whole game as well. It was at any moment someone was ready to win. Yeah. I was... If, if you hadn't killed Alex, I was dead. Yeah, you were I was dead. dead on board. I couldn't deal with that. Um, him and the Trailblazer The trailbla boots. Trailblazer boots, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping you'd go for him and then... I just slowly dismantle you afterwards. Well, I saw that coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't exactly so. Ah, I was what got me through that. The voice of thunder. Yeah, so that I drew arcane denial, Har harbinger of the tides, and arcane signet of the island. Finn the fan bearer, I think, gets MVP for this game for me. That's the first time he's been in the deck. I Is upgraded it. I upgraded it. Yeah, and I was, was, yeah. was like, do I do this to the play group? And then I knew Fire X here right around the corner. I was like. I'm gonna do this in the playthrough. <laughs> oh, well, given that I was, like, given that was, I had to be only one board by itself, and I required sacrifice creep and Murphy to do it. The, I was uh, surprised turn, how much hate that got. <laughs> extra yeah. turns, man. Yeah, they, they're not they're going on well, do they? I enjoyed it. That was <laughs> and with that, we'll see you next time.